Nikki Bazant from Healthy Food Guide and this is Healthy Food Guru where I give you our verdict on the new products that we found in the supermarket this week. We're starting today with Foo's Iced Tea. Uh, it's, a, it's an iced tea product. It is low calorie according to the label so it's got quite a large thing here that says low calorie. They don't really give you any context for that so they don't compare it to anything on the label. You just have to work that out for yourself. Now if you're comparing this to say Coca-Cola, it probably is low calorie, well it is low calorie, there's, there's 91 calories in here which is about 380 kilojoules and that is lower calorie than say the same amount of Coke which would be twice that, over twice that. Uh, if you're comparing this though to, a, to another drink, it may not be low calorie at all uh, and 381 kilojoules, it's got fi about five and a bit teaspoons of sugar in here, uh, so it's not particularly low in sugar either. It's also got stevia in it, which is a natural sweetener, a, a low calorie sweetener, uh, and we assume that they've put the stevia in there so they don't have to put more sugar, uh, because it's usually used instead of sugar or as well as to, to kind of make things sweeter. When you taste this, it is pretty sweet. To me it tastes, it tastes really sweet, maybe overly sweet, and um, I can taste the stevia aftertaste, which is a little bit distinctive. Um, you might not notice it, but I, I kind of could taste it in there. Uh, bottom line here is that it's basically water and sugar. It's like cordial, uh, and there probably are better options for you if you're looking for a lower kilojoule drink, including some of the other products in the iced tea area, so it pays to compare, and also plain water. So um, yeah, we think there's better options in this one out there. This is Ceres Organics LSC, and that stands for Linseed, Sunflower and Chia. Uh, you might be familiar with LSA, which is Linseed, Sunflower and Almond. So this is just a, a variation on that theme, but with chia seeds, which are really good for you. LSA is highly nutritious. It's got uh, omega-3, it's got fiber, it's got protein and good fats, all of those great things. And this is the same. Uh, adding chia seeds will make it slightly higher in omega-3 and slightly higher in fiber. It's a really, really good idea for sprinkling on your cereal or adding into smoothies or using in baking. I like to use uh, LSA in baking instead of ground nuts. It can work really well. Uh, it's not without energy, so be aware that the serving size that they say on this pack, which is 30 grams, that's about two tablespoons, has uh, about 680 kilojoules. We would suggest that probably a tablespoon is a better serving size if you're using it in a smoothie or in a uh, your, on your cereal and that would be obviously a little bit less uh, but you know overall it's a great nutritious product and really worth experimenting with. This is Dole Real Fruit Bites uh, with yogurt and whole grain oats. Uh, they are little packets like that of um, dried fruit coated in yogurt and presumably oats. Um, this is what I would call a real American product, it's an example of taking something that is actually quite natural and healthy and taking it in a direction that's maybe a bit less so. Uh, it's a real example of an American trend of, of making pre-packaged snacks or treats that are calorie controlled. So there's 90 calories in one of these little bags, which is about 375 kilojoules. Um, looking at the packaging here, you would expect to get chunks of fruit. What they actually are are these little sort of nuggets of um, fruit which has got a coating, a yogurt coating on it. The oats you can't really see, but we assume that the oats are in the in the coating. Um, the second ingredient here is sugar, and it also has palm kernel oil, hydrogenated palm kernel oil. What that means is that you're actually getting saturated fat in with your fruit, which we don't think anyone really needs. Uh, but it's also a very highly packaged product, which a lot of people aren't keen on either. So we would suggest probably a better alternative to this product would be to buy your own dried fruit and portion it out yourself. Um, Dole do make some really nice products, but I don't think this is one of them.